um, we now want to welcome on stage Jonathan Cohen from Quantum Machines, who has some exciting updates to share with us, with us as well. And please, I, would ha I need to say that Quantum Machines is with SQA from the beginning, so we're glad that you're back and you actually have a great announcement to make today. So please, Jonathan, the stage is yours. Thank you. All right. We all want useful quantum computers. This is probably the uh, biggest goal that we uh, all commonly share together uh, here in this room, here in our community. So can we make this future come sooner? Can we make faster progress? At Quantum Machines, we made it our mission to accelerate the realization of useful quantum computers. But building a useful quantum computer is a very difficult task. And we believe that this is not going to be achieved by a single group or a single company. This is really a worldwide community effort. It's a worldwide community effort, and we're all in this together. And so for us at Quantum Machines, this uh, mission of uh, accelerating the realization of useful quantum computers really means to work together very closely with uh, this amazing community and to provide it with the technology and the tools that will allow everybody to make faster and better progress across the board. In 2019, we launched our first product, our first quantum controller uh, to the market. Um, and we believe this brought a, a paradigm shift, um, a shift from using general test equipment, specifically arbitrary waveform generators and, uh, and digitizer to control and measure quantum devices, to a new approach, uh, what we call the pulse processor approach, where the entire quantum control and measurement uh, sequence or program runs entirely from a dedicated processor that we call the pulse processor. This allowed to have a single quantum controller that is very easily, very intuitively programmed, uh, while providing unprecedented uh, runtimes, as well as opening up the way to new possibilities such as mid-circuit measurements, cla real-time classical processing, and, and ultra-low latency feedback. So this was our first platform, the OPX platform. And uh, since we started, uh, we grew quite significantly. We believe because of this, this paradigm shift, um, where today we have over 250 customers across the globe uh, with more than 150 employees in the company. And, um, and most importantly, and the, the thing that makes it really the best part of it all uh, that makes this hard work uh, pays off is that the customers are succeeding to make a great impact on the field. So what's next? Well, we are ready to tackle the next industry challenges, and we identify two major challenges um, that need to be addressed. The first one is to scale up the control system, scale up to uh, a control system that can provide, uh, that can control 1,000 qubits and beyond, while still keeping the capabilities that we introduce with the OPX platform. And the second one is to push fidelities to new limits. And here we believe that it's very important to optimize the analog uh, specifications of the, of the, of the controller um, to the specific needs of quantum control. So we've been working very hard on these two challenges uh, for quite some time. And today we're very proud and uh, very, very excited um, and thrilled to, to share with you for the first time the launch of our new uh, flagship product. All right. Dramatic. Yes, very dramatic. So, this is OPX 1000. It's a massively scalable uh, quantum control platform. The basic unit is a three unit rack chassis that can host up to eight front-end modules, uh, pluggable front-end modules. We call them FEMs. And the first FEM we're launching today is, is, uh, has eight output channels and two input channels, which makes for the highest density uh, available today in the market in terms of channel density of control signals. Then multiple uh, multi-OPX chassis could be stacked together, connected together, with extreme uh, synchronization and uh, data communication across all the system so that it all behaves as a single controller that can support um, almost 1,000 channels in a single rack. 
and of course, multiple racks could be, uh, could be used. This is then combined with state-of-the-art analog performance. Uh, for example, uh, increased sampling rates and bandwidth, um, ultra-low ultra, ultra uh, jitter and extreme phase stability, uh, increased voltage ranges and many more. Uh, state-of-the-art uh, low-frequency noise and many more uh, features. And again, this is all while keeping the OPXness of the platform with the pass processor approach, with the real-time classical processing, real-time measurements, real-time feedback, and the uh, intuitive pass level programming with our programming language Qua. And finally, uh, we also made a lot of efforts to, um, to make this system what we call data center ready with, uh, for instance, uh, hot swappable uh, critical components and redundancy of single point of failure um, elements. Um, as well as multi-user uh, uh, support and parallelization uh, support. And finally, and very excitingly, soon the integration with the NVIDIA GPUs, a product that we, called, that we call uh, DGX Quantum, that we're working on together with NVIDIA, and we believe is going to be a, an important next step in, in integration between classical and quantum computing. So this is the OPX uh, 1000 platform. Um, we hope that, uh, like the... Uh, uh, leap we made in, in 2019 from AWGs to, to, op, to the OPX, the pass processing approach. We hope that we're ready now to make the ne next uh, big leap from uh, a lab controller to uh, uh, what we call data center ready controller or infrastructure. And most importantly, we hope that with this product, with this new platform, we can support you um, and our, our community um, to make faster and better progress towards the future of the field. So with that, let me thank you. Thank, I want to thank the organizers for setting up this conference every year. This is an amazing opportunity to come and meet every, everyone, and I'm very excited to meet uh, everyone in chat. Thanks. Thank